Hello and welcome to the update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. The PM is promising tomorrow's budget will be fair and will deliver on three key commitments to help Australian families. Anthony Albanese says the financial blueprint will be responsible, address cost of living pressures and fund Labor's election promises, with spending focused on childcare, aged care, reducing the cost of medicines and fast-tracking NBN upgrades. Deals with cost of living uh, pressures whilst not putting pressure on inflation, so t- targeted family-friendly budget uh, that also uh, removes some of the waste and rorts that have riddled the budget over a period of time. It looks like our power bills may be going up by even more than first thought. Just over a week ago, Alinta Energy was forecasting a 35% price rise because of the higher network costs involved in the transition to renewables. The federal government has reportedly been warned the price increase is more like 50% because of the Ukraine war. Weather conditions across much of New South Wales are easing, but the threat from deadly floodings isn't over with 120 warnings in place. The emergency already claiming a life with a woman's body discovered after a car washed from a causeway. Floodwaters in the New South Wales Victoria border towns have peaked at almost 95 metres. Green Senator Lydia Thorpe is referring herself to a powerful parliamentary body over a relationship with an ex-bikey boss. She dated the former Rebels member while serving on a law enforcement committee investigating outlaw motorcycle gangs. The jury in the rape trial of former political staffer Bruce Lehrman seems further than ever from reaching a verdict. They've been deliberating since last week after Lerman pleaded not guilty to sexually assaulting Brittany Higgins at Parliament House in 2019. Today, they've asked if there's a time limit. The Chief Justice has told them they can and should take all the time they need and there's no rush. There are calls for Australia to establish a national centre for disease control. Researchers believe it would help the nation embrace the One Health concept, which encourages a collaborative approach between human health and animal health and environmental experts. And nearly a quarter of Australians have had their data hacked or stolen. People are bolstering their security in the wake of attacks, though. 60% have set up two-factor authentication. In Sport Nepal, Australia boss Kelly Ryan says they're not expecting the federal government to chip in any cash following the loss of their major sponsor. The organisation has been struggling financially since the pandemic and now mining magnate Gina Reinhart has withdrawn her $15 million dollar deal. All-rounder Mitch Marsh isn't expecting any major team changes for tomorrow's crucial T20 World Cup clash with Sri Lanka in Perth, despite Australia's big loss to New Zealand over the weekend. And it's official, Ross Lyon is returning to coach St Kilda, saying he has unfinished business. The 55-year-old has been signed on a four-year deal 11 years after walking out on the club. In entertainment news, Chloe is the first of the Kardashians to make a statement around Kanye West's anti-Semitic rants. The reality star taking to Twitter to say she supports her Jewish friends and the Jewish community. Britney Spears is back on Instagram after taking a break from the platform and posting nudes on her Twitter account. She's once again showcasing her signature dance moves and a new manicure. And Madonna has shown she still cares about fashion even when she's working out. The 64-year-old music icon has taken to social media to post a workout video wearing all black gym clothes and sky-high silver stiletto boots. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. But we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.